So uh, on the assignment, we have a couple of interesting things here. One is finding the expected value, and one is finding the variance. And the expected value is just the sum of all of the um, x's times the probability of x. And you just add all those up. Now, what's interesting, what you do for the variance is it's the um, e of x squared minus e of x quantity squared. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment here. But uh, let's take a peek at this first one, e of x. So all you do in part A is you, for e of x, is you go 0 times 1 sixth plus 1 times a half plus 2 times a fifth plus 3 times 2 fifteenths. And you probably remember when we did the chuck a luck where you took the dollar times the probability, and we found that the game was a little bit toward the house. Same thing here. If we add all these up, I'm going to get 0.5 plus 2 fifths is 0 0.4. Uh, 3 times 2 fifteenths is 6 fifteenths. I don't know what that decimal is. Hmm. The total is what? 1.3. So my expected value is 1.3. Now, this e of x squared looks scary, doesn't it? Doesn't it look scary? Not scary at all. All that you're doing is you're saying that these are going to be squared. So for part B, e of x squared, actually it's not b, but we'll just call that, uh, that's not the right notation, x squared. This is just going to be 0 squared times 1 sixth plus 1 squared times 1 half to the end. Does that make sense? You just square that x times the probability. So if you're, if you're, Keeping track of this, e of x squared is the sum of x squared times the probability. That's all it is. Could somebody get me that total, e of x squared, for me? So again, this was um, 0 plus 0.5 plus 4 fifths plus 9 times 2, 18 fifteenths. And what's this e of x squared going to give us? Should be bigger than 1.3. 2.5. There you go. Now, the next thing I would want to find, this is asking for something totally different. I'll let you think about that. But I want to show you where the how to find the variance. The variance is just going to be this answer, e of x squared, which I know, minus this answer, e of x squared. So let's do it. This is going to be 2.5 minus 1.3 squared. And what is 2.5 minus 1.3 squared? 0 0.81. Now that's the variance. If I want the standard deviation, I just take the square root of that. And what do you get? I think you know if it's 0 0.81. Won't that be 0 0.9? Yeah, that'll be 0 0.9. So there we found the standard deviation and the variance from that real data. One more time, the expected value is like chuck -a luck the x value, the dollars times the probability, and add them all up. It doesn't add up to 1, right? Expected values don't add up to 1. They would hardly ever do that. I don't want to say never. 
the expected value of x squared, you just square the x's, multiply by the probabilities, and add them up. The reason you want to find this is because the variance is going to be a combination of the expected value of x squared and the expected value squared. And that difference gives us the variance for a uh, distribution function. We're going to find better formulas than this in a little bit. And that should help you find the rest of these for number three and number eight. I think those should go pretty well.